diabetes is on the rise it is a metabolic condition in fact this is one of the silent epidemics that we have been seeing it's because it's a lifestyle problem in fact more and more of processed foods being eaten less and less less of you know the lifestyle that we lead the stress the obesity and the amount of you know exercise that we really have is really going haywire the need for exercise and the greed for trying to amass wealth at very short intervals and of course the lifestyles in terms of the kind of work cultures that we have have all actually added to the stress levels that we have all these have contributed to increasing the diabetic status that uh, we have in india in fact we are known as the diabetic capital of the world and not for any small reason it's only because we people in the tropical countries are known to uh, sort of uh, have a diet which is very carbohydrate rich it's protein deficient and fat rich so we need to sort of change the way we look at our diet because back to basics and back to nature is what we need to do a lot of our dietetics need to be looked at very carefully and if we can bring this processed food to a minimum and see that we get back to fresh food and cooked food it will really help us to change now what does this diabetes do to us because once the diabetes are insulin that is there in our body is not able to act much it allows for fat accumulation so many of the fat obese subjects that we have that also tends to allow for fat accumulation on the waist as well as on our thighs as we start putting on weight on our thighs since the scrotum lies outside the body the scrotum contains the testicle which is actually the uh, sacs that contain the testes the testes contains the sperms now the sperms tend to have a temperature that is almost 1 degree less compared to your internal body temperature and that is necessary for the sperms to function when these uh, testes that are outside your body and the thighs keep rubbing against each other because of the fat you find that the temperature rises and therefore the sperm counts drop and when this happens the temperature goes higher and higher and the sperm counts go almost to nil so therefore you i you hear terms of oligospermia oligoasthenospermia oligoasthenoteratozospermia which means that oligo is less astheno is weak teratho is abnormal sperms so when you have these abnormal sperms only because of increase in temperature so a mere decrease of even 5% of your weight initial weight will tend to improve your sperm count now that's extremely easy to do but of course that needs a mindset to say okay fine i'm going to do it and if you do that you'll see a lot of change occurring once you start putting things in place you'll see what a difference you have to sweat it out so what happens in diabetes is once you start sweating it out there a peripheral conversion of fat into glucose will make a lot of change even in your in your spermatogenesis that is conversion of sperm spermatogenesis will be the conversion of these spermatids into sperms so that is what we need you to do so when the fat gets converted to glucose the energy levels rise and once the energy levels rise that also helps in the sperm energies also which actually depends on fructose now apart from that also even the sexual function the importance also tends to rise when your diabetes is there so libido is decreased if your diabetes is there so if diabetes is there that's one of those killers which not only affects your heart it affects your kidneys it affects your eyes but also your sex drive and your sperm counts so why land up into diabetes when you can really have a healthy life So get yourself consulted with a dietitian try and bring down your diabetes enjoy a good sexual life and also a fertile life